Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm using a go-to everyday makeup look that I use normally for when I get ready and go out, go shopping, do anything, even stay at home. This is what I like doing. This is my go-to makeup. These are the only products that I use for when I want to reach that look more natural but you know still dewy and beautiful and the only thing I keep changing is the lipstick and uh, sometimes the uh, eyeshadows so if you want to know how I make this look continue watching let's get started I am um, I'm gonna be using my favorite foundation which is the Givenchy and my shade is 05 matte honey okay I'll just put some in my hand I like spraying it first with my finger everywhere in my face and then I'll just use my beauty blender it's so hard to see I, I have to take my glasses off obviously to put the makeup and I'm, I normally put my contact lenses on but I had some problems with my eyes and I had the an eye infection and all sorts going on and I had to stop wearing them and I have to have a big a long break so it's really hard not used to putting makeup without my lenses on because I can't see anything so I have to keep going close to the mirror can't wait I think also my graduation went really bad now so I need to check that out and then get new glasses and get my lenses again hopefully soon Okay, when I just start putting the foundation on my face, I don't put it on my neck but once I finish spreading it on my face, I go down on my neck because I don't like it to be really, you know, full of makeup I like this foundation, it's a really natural colour It's uh, It gives you a nice coverage but it's not completely thick and dries your skin Okay, I do my eyebrows first I use the Max Factor eyebrow pencil. I think they only have two shades. And this is the 30 Deep Brown. Okay, oh my God, I can't see. Once I finish, I just brush and I'll start blending in as well. Right, next eyebrow. Okay, then I use my, I use two concealers. One is my favorite concealer to use under eye, which is the NARS concealer. It's the only one that doesn't give me dry skin under my eyes and it's, it just gives a more natural look because other ones that I that I've tried before, they just make it like really cakey and I just, I just don't like it. So, because this concealer is quite expensive, I use this one just for under my eye and then I get the L'Oreal for the rest of my face. I put under my eyebrows. And the other one. My chin. And I also put a bit here on top so I give that you know that sharp look on my eyebrows then I get the NARS concealer and I'll just put under my eye I know I look ridiculous right now then time to blend in I leave my eyes for the end, I do the rest first. So yeah, I think it's a good way to use a more inexpensive concealer for the rest of your face. For me, the most important bit is the under eye, so I like using the NARS one. Okay, then with my finger, I just tap here underneath my eyebrows, otherwise you can see the line. Okay, now I use the Laura Mercier powder, but I don't use a lot of it. I only like using it under my eyes. And whatever's left in the brush, I just go on my T-zone. I don't like the really dry looking face. I like it a bit more glowy. Okay, to just give a bit of hydration and set 
all what I've done now. I use the Mario Badescu setting spray just to set the foundation and the concealer and to hydrate a bit my face. It's so good. I like leaving the eyes for almost the end. So I like to do my bronzer and my blush and then I go to my eyes. I'm gonna be using the Hula Benefit. I'm obsessed with this bronzer. My sister told me to get it so I tried it and I loved it. We used it in the last video we did together. She did my makeup how she does it on herself. She used it this one and I really liked it. I leave that video link below so if you wanna watch it. I just put little by little in round circles on my cheeks and I keep adding and I'm not pressing, I'm doing it really gently I don't go too far in I like leaving some space for the blush like this I can blend it the other side so whatever's left from doing my cheeks I just do my ears so they don't stay white looking and I go under my neck then the other side and again my ear and my neck and then I don't do proper contouring but I do go around my neck my neck around my forehead and a little bit on my jawline okay so now that I'm still using the bronzer I'm gonna contour my nose if I find the brush gonna use the same just a thinner brush and really gently uh, around the nose and I like going a bit in the inner eye I'm not a person who uses a lot of eyeshadows or plays a lot with the eyes I have um, what do you call it, a saggy eyelid so it's it's really hard for me to do proper eye makeup I would love to but it doesn't work for me so what I do is play with shadows and give you know a bit more contrast in the eye okay and with the same brush again I get a bit more bronzer and I just do the whole eyelid like softly everywhere What I mean about my eyelids, that I can't really use a lot of eyeshadows or play with my eyes is this when I open, can you see? It's impossible, you can't see anything so that's why I have to drag my eyeshadow really high up and that's why I don't like using proper colors and all that because it just doesn't look right for me Hmm, look who's here! <gasps> Good morning! You want some makeup? Yes? Yeah. Say hi! Hi! Look! Here! Leah here! Hi! <laughs> She's scared! You wanna help me put some makeup? No? <laughs> okay, so once I finish doing my eyes with the bronzer, I go for the blush. And the blush I use is the L'Oreal Life's a Peach. I really like this color and I like how it blends in with the Hula bronzer. So again, I remove a lot of excess from it and I just dab. All right, I use a little bit on the tip of my nose and now that it's empty, not a lot left in it, I just do a little bit in here so you don't get that proper line of the blush. Now, again, with the, the same blush, I'm gonna do the same with my eyes again and I'm gonna use it on my eyelid, just in the corner bits. And then this is a bit thick but I'm just used to using it 
um, you can use a thinner brush just to do your under eye and I do just the corner from middle out with the same and connect it with the eyeshadow on top same with the other side okay now what I'm gonna do I don't like using eyeliners because as I said before it doesn't work for me you can barely see it I open my eyes and where is the eyeliner <laughs> so what I use is a brush like this thin I get my eyeshadow palette Zoeva one and these are the colors I like it's pretty messy now this palette <laughs> so and I go for a darker color like this I'll just use it as an eyeliner but just from the middle out and I just dab like so and I do this just in this side so it gives a bit of more you know open look because otherwise my eyes look so tiny okay now let's do the other eye We're gonna go four, four, four lashes, and I use the Benefit mascara. All right, I do the other side. I know for some people this probably seems a lot of makeup for everyday makeup look but this is what I'm used to and this is what I like I can't do makeup without foundation it doesn't work for me I don't like it if I want to feel good and you know I like to use foundation and my bronzers and all that in the summer it's a different story sometimes I don't use uh, foundation but now I do like my foundations I don't use makeup a lot and now that uh, we are still locked down I literally never wear makeup I can go more than two weeks without any makeup on um, but yeah every now and then I feel like doing something okay I'm gonna use a bit more of setting spray and I'm gonna use the MAC pencil the spice color I really like this color I put it a bit on top I don't know if you can see I'll just follow my line what I like doing though I don't like going over the line on my lips but what I do is go on the line on the line on the line when I reach the pointy bit I'll connect it but not down because if I follow it it goes really down I like closing it in a bit and it doesn't look as fake so this is what I do and what I use now obviously I normally use a similar color lipstick but because it's so cold outside and I you know my lips get really dry I found this bird's piece lip balm but it's a lipstick it's a lip balm but with color and it's pretty similar to what I have right now and it keeps my lips hydrated at the same time so this is what I've been using lately and I love it then I go for highlight I like using it just here on my nose I don't like going too down but just up here tip of my nose and then on top of my cheek on the other side okay all right this is my everyday go-to makeup that I use for when I want to get ready or do anything during the day it's natural but you know these wintry colors that I use I don't know they just look really beautiful thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time